Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about preparing your three minute pitch. This is the first part of a, a two parts uh, presentation. Right. So what uh, uh, is a three MP or three minute pitch or sometimes you have ever heard that it is actually called a three minute thesis or three MP. So three MP is actually a compelling spoken presentation on your research topic and its significance in just three minutes to a specialist or non-specialist audience. Or well, sometimes 3MP or 3MT is a part of a competition where a panel of judges will actually look for the best speaker and they will be awarded. So uh, currently, uh, 3MT or 3MP is, uh, is a trend among um, students who are undergoing their uh, PhD or their masters, where they have to present their proposals uh, uh, on stage uh, via this 3MT. Okay, so why do you need to prepare? Okay. So before you go for the uh, you go on stage or you go for the 3MP or 3MP competitions, okay, it is normal that everybody will feel nervous, okay, because we are human beings. Whenever we stand in front of audience, especially uh, audience that we are not familiar with, okay, we tend to feel nervous. All right, so we need to prepare. Why we need to prepare? Because we need to enhance our level of confidence. Therefore, we will reduce our nervousness. All right, and we also prepare what are the things that uh, we need to uh, show during the 3MT, what are the do's and the don'ts, how do you manage your body language, uh, what are the dress that you need to wear during the uh, uh, 3MT presentations. All right, so all these things need to be considered before you go to the real events. Okay, so when you go for the 3MP, of course, you need two basic things, you know. First is the uh, your oral, and then the second is visual, okay. Oral is when you speak in front of the audience, you speak about your research, okay. Uh, visual refers to your PowerPoints or any slides or any pictures that you want to show to the audience that will tell about your products or your research findings. Okay, <clears throat> before you go for the 3MT, you need to know what are the criteria for judging if you are going for a competition. All right, okay, and you need to know whether the audience are specialists or non specialists or whether they are in the, sa the same field with your field so that you know what are the, the uh, language or the terminologies that you uh, will use for the presentation. So you need to avoid a jargon a language or terminologies, okay? So if they are in uh, a team of academicians or if the audience are academicians, therefore you need to use um, academic terminologies. Okay, so basically what you need to uh, include in your uh, 3MP is uh, for you to explain the concepts that is related to your field of uh, study or your expertise and also whether uh, that concept that you are preparing uh, will be uh, easy for the audience to underst understand based on their expertise or their field of uh, professions, okay? And when you are presenting, when you are preparing your 3MP, you must be excited, you know, show your excitement uh, towards your research findings and be enthusiastic with your subject so that your audience will trust on you. <clears throat> okay, so whenever you present, you know, whenever you prepare your presentation, you must have an outcome, you know. So you have to present the key messages that you want the audience to take away. That is the two keyword is what and why. Why are you doing this? And what did you do to answer your why? Okay. So what to tell, you know, 
when you are presenting, you are like giving, um, telling a story. You must, uh, if you know the uh, fish bone analogy, all right, or, or um, uh, theory of the fish bone. Okay, you have the head, you have the bones, and you have the tail. Similar to your 3MP, you have to tell the beginning, okay, uh, you have the middle points that you want to tell and you must have a conclusion or the end of your presentation. Okay, <clears throat> so the challenge is you are only given three minutes, you know. So how are you going to condense your research findings in three minutes? Okay, so most important is you must be able to uh, summarize your uh, uh, research outcome in a typical uh, presentation, you know, typical uh, way of presenting. Uh, normally for a research um, outcome, you have the background, you have the objective, you have methodology, and then you have um, the results and also the conclusions, all right? So when you write the background or the opener, okay, make sure your background is very catchy, to catch the audience attention. Okay, the do's and the don'ts. What are the do's and the don'ts when you are preparing or when you are on stage or when you are online to present your research findings within three minutes, okay? Do not write your presentation like an academic paper. Make sure that uh, every sentences, words or paragraphs are short enough not to distract the understanding of the audience or the judge, okay? And be careful with humor because that will also distract the audience attention and they may look down on your presentation, okay? So you have to create a, a, a simple, okay, but very catchy, slide or poster normally for 3mp okay especially for online presentation what you need to do is you pre prepare a one page uh, powerpoint or a single static uh, powerpoint slide or poster okay and make sure the images are high quality only those necessary are included use of graphs and visual will support your messages do not allow any slide transition or animations or any movement within the slide because this will actually uh, take your time okay and uh, you must present from the beginning of your oration and also do not add any sounds and video files because uh, most of the time uh, it doesn't work in uh, during the presentation and it will again take your time Okay, practice, practice, practice. Why do you need to keep on practicing? Okay, yes, of course, you need to reduce your nervousness. When you had enough practice, you will actually have uh, better confidence and clarity in your presentation. Okay, so you have to memorize your pitch. Okay, using notes or referring to notes while presenting is very unprofessional okay so take your time to practice all right you only have three minutes so focus on the elements that you want to include in the three minutes okay but uh, in this video i will not focus on what are the important elements in the uh, three minutes but uh, i will share with you with uh, uh, probably another uh, sessions okay to show you or to uh, describe to you uh, what are the uh, points or the elements that you need to have in your uh, PowerPoint uh, slides or poster, okay? But best is to have a shorter version uh, so that you, uh, you don't uh, exceed the time given to you, but you are concise enough to deliver your uh, messages to the audience. Okay, so keep revising, okay, read aloud to yourself, okay, or to any audience, your friends and families, okay, 
when you read aloud, you will tend to check for grammar. You will tend to notice whether you have grammatical error in your presentation. Okay, and then you can also check your writing style and get feedback from your friends and families and ask them uh, whether your research is clear enough to highlight what your research is and why. Okay. Again, when you are revising, you need to record yourself, record, listen to the record, what is your typical character, identify your typical character while presenting, identify your weakness and improve, and then later on you can improve the weakness and exploit or enhance your strength. And then uh, next, when you are speaking in front of the audience, all right, or maybe you are using a, a, a microphone, Okay, make sure that you speak clearly and use a variety in your voice. You must know when to speak fast, when to speak slow, when you need to uh, increase your volume of your um, uh, voc uh, voice, okay, whether you sometimes you need to be loud enough, sometimes you need to be soft enough to emphasize the keywords in your uh messages all right do not rush okay find your rhythm okay uh, be cool calm and very important for you to pause at the main keywords to give the audience time to think about what you are saying and then body language okay what is body language the attitude of your body which is very important as it shows a lot on how comfortable you feel while delivering your pitch. Your audience should feel that uh, you are relaxed and confident. Remember that the audience trusts a confident speaker. So what you need to do is to stand straight on both feet and use your hands when necessary and don't forget to smile. Hold your head up and make eye contact to focus on your audience and never turn your back to the audience. Use your space. It is okay to move around energetically if that is your personality. However, it is also appropriate for presentations to be delivered from a single spot on stage. All right, and then learn from a role model keep on searching from various resources to look for the best models so stars that you want to imitate or follow their strength in presenting when they are presenting okay you analyze how they engage with their audience and you adapt and adopt their uh, how they engage with their audience okay so i have attached for you here um uh, reference where you can actually uh, uh, look at this uh, link and learn from this uh, lady who presented uh, 3MT and she actually won uh, the best uh, 3MT in if I'm not mistaken in 2019 okay and lastly is dress so you know how do you dress uh, how do you dress up okay when you go uh, for a 3MT okay there is actually no strict dress code, okay, but you must remember that uh, a dress, dress must match with the events, you know, you don't want to wear something that is too bright or too colorful to distract your audience, especially the judges, you know, you don't want to distract the judges uh, uh, when you wear something that is very distracting, they will tend to focus on your dress rather than listening to your presentations or the points, the key messages that you want to deliver. So what dress to wear? So imagine that you want to go for a job interview, right? So your dress will actually build your credibility and will also um, increase the confidence of the audience to your presentations right so that's all for now uh, till then okay the next video will be on the important elements in the slides okay so thank you very much for listening